makes the assignments due on Saturday? Like, who does that? The teachers here just want to make our lives measurable. Live as an aeronautical engineering student, episode 4. Currently heading towards one of my engineering classes. So we basically do engineering project management and like entrepreneurship stuff. And right now we're actually designing and building an ICU bed. We haven't started yet, but when we start, I'm gonna be showing you all the details. That'll be fun. And the best way to do that is to control the supply chain so that they can hike the price whenever they want. Uh, that did not work well. It's Tuesday morning and I'm going to have a very busy day today from working at my school's auditorium to going to aircraft composites class and lab, which is going to be so long, but I have to do it so wish me all the best because it's not going to be an easy day. And I'm so busy that I haven't been able to even upload, I haven't even edited episode three and this is episode four already, but I'm going to try and edit it on Thursday and get it out on Thursday. So. Hang in there. I hope you enjoy your day. Bye-bye. Arizona has the perfect weather for storing these assets. It's hot, there's little rainfall, no humidity, and the soil is as hard as concrete, so planes won't sink. I'm now at my aircraft composites lab. I'm about to continue with my wood board spraying and my aircraft glass window. The important thing, no matter how much paint you have coming out of your gun, you have to keep it moving. Look how big this engine is. I could literally fit in it. Hi, my people. It's a Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, it's a Wednesday afternoon and I'm off to one of my engineering classes. It's been a busy week and finally halfway through it. It's Thursday afternoon and today I have aircraft composites. It has been such a busy week and I'm honestly very tired. So today at my aircraft composites lab, I'm going to be doing some more spraying and sanding on my aircraft polyfiber wood board project. And then I'm probably going to be doing some sanding on my aircraft window. Let's go. It's time for my aircraft composites class and I'm already tired. God help me. Let's go. Friday and today I'm wrapping gun. It's a Friday afternoon and today I have a test in my engineering class. Let's see how that goes. Hey everyone, so this week I wasn't able to film a lot because I was busy but today all the international students are out. We came to a lake to enjoy life relax and stay away from school and i'm actually enjoying that so i'm going to be showing you around i hope you enjoy the video here with my roommate chilling hey <laughs> hi <laughs> Finally we made it 
So it's a Saturday night and a normal college student Saturday night so will probably be partying or something but I'm here doing homework because that's literally how measurable engineering students are. We don't have any other life apart from doing homework, studying, working on projects. Like that is our life. So I'm here doing my engineering homework which is due tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who makes the assignments due on Saturday? Like, who does that? The teachers here just want to make our lives measurable, like, obviously, but... Hello, my name is Serena Ballad. I'm a senior um, in my last year in mechanical engineering at Latona University. Um, I'm originally from India, but I grew up in Zambia, um, in central southern Africa. Um, and I came to the United States in 2018. Um, for my for my mechanical engineering degree, my experience here has been really good as a as a woman engineering student. Um, one of the most difficult things has been um, being in my classes without like many women engineers. Um, but over time, as we've gone through the years, um, we formed more strong relationships, like me and the other women engineers, and that's been lots of fun. I would definitely say though, even even though there are only a few of us women, we've um, bonded really well. And I think it's really important um, to form these relationships. One thing that I would say that I regret a lot is like not forming as strong of those relationships in my first few, like two years. Um, and so I would definitely encourage you, if you're thinking about going into engineering, um, for you to find these other women engineers because there's so few of us and to form those strong relationships and honestly that's going to keep you going through the four years that you attend college. I hope you enjoyed the video. Kindly hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Remember that a brand new world but life is how you make it till next time.